Take 55. Fuck you. I'm Swedish. It's fucking cold in Sweden, right? I'm in Madrid in Spain. It's 45 fucking degrees every day. In Fahrenheit, that's like 3 million. I die. It's so fucking hot, I put the pants on for you guys. Right? It's... It's fucking hot. I'm on this thing all days. This thing. Right? Okay, so I'm a fucking wheelie guy, but... I also ride in, in more speed than 80 km an hour. And it's so fucking insanely hot. I've been riding bikes all my fucking life. And it's so hot. I put, I put my bike out in, in Sweden, in the sun. It's in, in the middle of the summer and it's crazy hot for Sweden, right? And it's no problem. No problem. Here, I ride my bike. 120, 130 kilometers an hour. And the wind is so fucking hot that I'm just pouring with sweat. And my tank on the bike gets so hot that I burn, I burn my legs. And I, I don't mean like, oh, it's hot. No, it's, you can fry a fucking egg on the tank. It, it gets so hot that I had to buy these fucking stomp grips to put on my tank just to keep some clearances from the metal to my fucking legs, right? I run like this on the bike. No gloves, nothing. Only a fucking helmet, right? And I sweat, so I die. It's fucking hot. But we're going to talk about engines, right? Because engines is life. No, wheelies is life. N life is nothing if you don't do fucking caballitos. Okay? It's, it's everything. But engines is fun also. And making videos, it's... Yeah, I have more fun topics to talk about, but we have to do this fucking video. Like, uh, this is it's gonna be uh, building an engine uh, is one video in, in, before, and now it's one more, and it's not gonna be more building an engine videos because it's not fun. Okay, let's go. Come on. When we build our engine, we have to think about a couple of things, right? It doesn't matter if we have a 601, 602, 603, 604, 605, or 606, right? It doesn't matter because one upgrade that we need to do is to put an MLS head gasket on it, multi-layer steel head gasket. Because in the 601, 602, 603, not even the turbo engines had it. They had, they have organic head gaskets, and. I mean, it, it, it's just not, it's just not going to happen. The 604 also has an organic head gasket because they were, those were never available as a turbo engine. 605 and 606, MA engines, organic, turbo, MLS, right? So that's the gasket we use on the other engines, okay? Now, when building an engine, we have to, we have options. We have options to do things correctly or we can just fuck about we're not here to fuck about so we do it correctly an organic gasket will always seal is uh, yeah I can say always it doesn't fucking matter if your block and head looks like shit because you will squeeze that gasket together and it will seal for a while you know, if you have a couple of bars of boost. Uh, the MLS gasket, on the other hand, needs a specific or better raw number. And the uh, RA raw number is... This is something that 
I don't know the word of in English maybe. It's the surface surface finish. It's the roughness of the surface. That's the word I'm looking for. The rough uh, roughness of your surface. So it's a measurement like a microscopical measurement from the from the peaks to the valleys or something on the roughness. And even if you have a mirror and you look in a in a microscope, it's like this, you know? Nothing on earth is flat. Not even earth itself, my friend. Uh, but uh, that's, another, that, that's for the chats. Uh, so, the raw number is really, really important because if we don't have as flat surface as we need, the MLS gasket will not seal. So, when building an engine, it's really important that we deck the block and skim the head. That's the word. So we deck the block and we skim the head. It's the it's two fucking names for the same thing. You know, we put them in the fucking milling machine and we skim the surface. And we do it to the correct raw number or better. If we had, this is off topic of course, if we had two perfectly flat surfaces, like this, we would not be able to pull them apart again. So, and that's pretty much what glue does. They create, uh, you know, they fill up the valleys, right? Uh, so, raw number, that's really fucking important and it's not that important to have a specific raw number or knowing the specific raw number the importance is that the surface needs to be perfect and if your machine guy can just make it very very good you are probably within the tolerances Right? So you don't have to like send your block away for some spectrometer, sh blah blah, what the fuck. It's not that important. It's just important that we do it to the best of our capabilities. You know? And there's a machine. I've asked my friends on, on Facebook of this, but I, I have not got the name. And it's, it's like this is so fucking stupid. But it's like a stone that rotates with, uh, with cutting uh, fluid. And you put shit on a magnetic table. And this table moves. And this stone grinds away very, very precisely. And this table goes forth and back. And them back like that so you can take a, a very large surface and these machines are amazingly accurate and you can get a mirror finish on your block if you want so not needed but I mean there are means in almost every mechanical shop that can make your block and head as good as possible even even milling I mean milling in the correct speed and uh, and feed is is good enough normally so we have another thing and this is I mean this is this is not good because on the 6 the 604 were never available as a turbo but the 605 and 606 it's not possible to find new turbo rings and this is a real problem so when when needed you have to replace your rings with rings that are for the naturally aspirated engine and they are visually the same they measure the same but they are made from a different material or maybe it's only the top ring 
I have to leave that uh, as a question mark, but they are in a different material. And I mean, we're boosting three bars and we're running 600 horsepower. We need rings that can stand a little bit of abuse. So we are doing everything with our engine, but we need to be very, very careful with our rings. And the rings are run into a, to a bore. I mean, number one cylinder rings are run in to the number one cylinder bore. So we can't swap the rings over, we can't do anything like that. We can't just replace the rings because then we need to hold the cylinders, hone the bores, whatever. Uh, we can't hone the bores and not swap uh, rings. We, we can't. Either we do it or we don't. So we hone our block or and we replace the rings with naturally aspirated rings for the NA engines. Or we keep the bore and we keep the rings. So a piston ring is a square. No, it's round. It's not fucking round. I mean the shape of the thing is round, but the ring is a square. And a square is sharp in the edges. But this fucking 90 degrees of a square has been up and down a bore all his life. 29 fucking journeys to the moon and back. So it will not be sharp anymore. And if it's not sharp, it's no good. So we have to feel the rings. We have to feel if they are dull. If they are dull, we have no option. We need to buy the NA rings, we have to hone our bore, and then we have to put it together. If we're lucky, the rings are decent. And I would say it's a 50-50. Of the engines I've done, is that's pretty much it. It's 50-50. So you feel the rings. If they're sharp-ish, they will never be new. They will never be perfect. But if they're sharp-ish, you have the option, you know, to... Should I keep them? They are turbo rings. I can't get new turbo rings. I keep my bore, save a little bit of money, and I also have really good clearances because it's been 29 fucking times to the moon and back. Or you home, you replace, and you use your NA rings in your turbo engine. Uh, and no, you can't get the turbo rings. It doesn't matter how much you fucking Google it. It's not gonna happen. What more? Raw number, important. Rings, important. Replacing rings with stock bore, not gonna happen. You need to hone your bore. Honing and keeping rings, not gonna work. Either you replace and refinish, or you don't. But, I mean, it's not, not so much more with the engine. It's, uh, I don't even, even know what the fuck I've spoken about. I'm... Sleeping is a fucking good thing. Coming home 4.30 in the fucking morning, that's not good. Um, but, I mean, if you want to know more about fucking engines, you have to tell me, because now we're going to talk about more fun topics, like turbos and clutch kits and stuff like that. You know, stuff that makes us progress. Because building an engine, 
You're not going to do it. And not you. And not you. And not you. That guy will build an onion. So, I mean... Bye-bye. <laughs>